My name is uh, Basil Auger. I'm a third year PhD student from France, and here is my work. So my work starts with uh, people who went uh, in Antarctica to collect some micrometeorites. So they went in South Pole, and there they dig some holes and they melt some snow in order to collect micrometeorites. And when they did that, they discovered a full new family of uh, micrometeorites known as ultra carbonaceous micrometeorites. So as you can see with this map here, it's basically just carbon. So we have to understand how this matter has been formed uh, because it's very rare. So for this, they made a scenario. And uh, the scenario implies that we have an object which is living in the Earth cloud here. So here you have a map of the solar system. So Sun is here, Earth is here. Here you have the main belt. Then you have Neptune here and then Pluto. Here you have the Kuiper belt. And if you go further, you will reach in the Earth cloud. So what we believe is one of the objects was living in the Earth cloud and were irradiated by galactic cosmic rays during millions to billion years. And then this object traveled back to the internal solar system and become a comet. And this comet injects some matter on us. And uh, the job I have to do during my thesis was to check if this scenario was okay or not. And for this, I use a heavy ion accelerator in uh, Gagnil, France. So it's in uh, Caen, in Normandy. And uh, with this uh, heavy ion accelerator, we can use uh, ions to simulate the galactic cosmic rays. So then we just have to simulate here uh, the surface of one Oak cloud object. So for this, we produce on the lab some ICs. So us, we use uh, N2CH4 ICs. We believe this is relevant for our cloud object. And then during the irradiation, we have a lot of different things that are going to happen. Some molecules are going to be destroyed, others are going to be formed. And at the end, we will obtain something. So at the end, we obtain a lot of different uh, molecules, such as HCN, for example. When we did this, it was the evolution of the object in the Earth cloud, and then we have to simulate how this object is going to tra travel back on Earth. And for this, we just have to warm up very slowly the ice. So we warm up the ice at uh, 300K, and then we collect a solid residue. And this solid residue is here, so you can see some as assignment for the bonds we have. But the most important was to compare this uh, infrared spectra from the different residue we obtained with the UCAM one. So UCAM is for ultra carbonaceous Antarctic micrometeorites. And what we can see, it is very close to. The only difference remains in this band here where the green circle is. And in fact, we warm up one of the residues at, uh, three, at 600K to simulate uh, when these micrometeorites enter in the Earth's atmosphere. And what's happened is this band disappears and then the spectra looks very close to the UCAM one. So for this part, we can say that the scenario is not totally crazy, and it's possible that the UCAMS uh, micro micrometeorites come from an Earth cloud object. So then we perform another experiment with a totally new uh, experimental setup named uh, Iglias, who will be soon open to the community. It's basically a UHV chamber. We can reach minus 10 millibars, and we can perform three different experiments in one time. And we have infrared spectroscopy and UV light spectroscopy. And uh, with this, we are able to monitor the same experiment with no water contamination. And the results so far are looking better.